Hi, uh, my name's Hannah Wren, and for our HNC uh, course at college, uh, we had to do, as part of the assignment, we had to do an activity management uh, session with level 3 students. Uh, it meant we had to run a task all on our own, we had to uh, do all the prep work for this activity, research it, do all the risk assessments, and do all the necessary kind of prepar preparation for the type of activity. Uh, our activity was called reducing squares. Uh, it was basically, we had lots of squares around the floor and the students had to run between them all while we closed up the squares. Uh, because we were... Uh, Because we only had a certain amount of time, uh, we had planned to do two activities. However, obviously because of time and because of space, we only were able to do one. Uh, the main part of this kind of activity management uh, was the risk assessment. Uh, we had to make our own risk assessments. Uh, we had to go to the area where we were going to do it and think about all the necessary risks and hazards and how we would uh, put control risks in place to make sure that each risk and hazard was lower and that it really wasn't going to happen. Uh, my risk assessment was split into two categories so I have the hazard and I have the control measure that I took to get a lower risk rating and to help the students to stay stay uh, to stay safe um there are certain things that when i was writing the risk assessment obviously i didn't put down i didn't think of uh so there were a few things that on the day when we were doing the task uh i had to quickly think about and with everything else we'd put in place uh there were certain things that could just be kind of swapped around a little bit or made sure that they were like out of the way or they had to create shoes on to make sure that that risk didn't happen. Uh, like we didn't look at a slippy floor uh, but fortunately all the students we used were in their gym kit anyway so they had good rubber rubber soles on uh, and the running trainers so that kind of hazard because I didn't think of it uh, at the time it was easily you know taken away from the equation uh, by the use of the students. Um, an example of hazards, as I've just given you, another one is collision with furniture. Uh, we did our task in the sports hall uh, of the Hillsborough College and uh, in order to stop collisions with furniture and different pieces of equipment in the sports hall, uh, all the benches and all the necessarily like unneeded like hoops and mats and goalposts were all moved out of the way and pushed far aside so we could you know easily have a big enough space to do our activity in a clear space without you know running into anything that could make them fall over and injure themselves. Uh, we also had slip trips and falls which is kind of like colliding with furniture however because as I said earlier, the slippy floor, the students made that kind of risk go away easier because they had really good rubber soles on their shoes. Um, these examples are just showing that we were, able to, we were able to control the situation and we were able to put in certain measures to keep the students' safety because that was our main priority. As the manager of this actual activity, we had to make sure that the student safety was number one and that while they were doing the activity no fatal injuries or no kind of high risk injuries could have occurred. Um, with our risk assessments we also had to look into low, medium and high kind of risk ratings uh, for hazards that we'd thought of already. Um, if it was a low risk, uh, it was an alright 
uh, task to do. Uh, there was very little, you know, risk of anything major happening to each student. However, if it was, excuse me, if it was a high risk rating, then the uh, activity would have been looked into do it, either doing it differently, in a different way, or completely just scrapping that idea and not doing that activity at all because it would have been then been really kind of, you know, risky for each student. Um, if the high, if the risk rating was a medium, uh, it was an all right activity to do. However, there were a few things that needed to be changed to make sure that that activity was uh, safe and that each student knew what they had to do to kind of make sure that activity was safe and not to put anyone else in risk, uh, in danger. Uh, the risk assessment that we made for uh, this activity, uh, we brought it to the actual activity the day we did it uh, and once we'd got our team sorted, we'd introduced ourselves, we'd got to know each other, uh, we got them all in a group and we went through this risk assessment to make sure that they understood what the risks were, what they had to do to make sure that the risks weren't going to happen and to make sure that it was safe and that everyone kind of knew that they had to help each other. If they saw something that was not right, they had to either report it to us or just stop, like shout stop com completely. Everyone had to stop to make sure that we knew what was happening and obviously we were there keeping an eye on them so we knew if there was any real risk and we would have stopped it straight away if there was any real risk however we knew we could rely on the team to kind of put in place certain things to you know make them stop if there was an actual risk um our activity took place in the sports hall uh, there were three groups doing it so we each had a certain area of the sports hall uh, that we could do our particular activity in. Um, we wanted a lot of space, hence why we did it in the sports hall, because most groups were running around. Uh, most activities needed quite a big amount of space to do each activity. Um, some activities were following a course, and ours particularly was you had squares in each ca in different kind of places and different corners. And they had to run to them, so they kind of needed some short distance and some long distance runs uh, just to make this activity a bit more interesting. However, that did mean more risk on the thing, on the uh, activity because if you're running at a high, like at a speed, it's really hard to slow yourself down. So we made sure that no one was doing sprints and that they had enough time to get from one place to another without actually producing more risks and injuring themselves. Uh, we also had to make sure that the groups were spread apart. So each each of the three groups they had their own set of areas, so that they weren't intertwining with each group. Say our group wasn't running, our, one of our squares wasn't in front or in the middle of another group. So when we were running, we didn't collide with any other group. So we were kind of in our own little area. Um, before the task, we did have to obviously group roll students uh, and because we'd never actually worked with that particular group before uh, we had to talk to them and get to know them and see who would be the best group leader uh, we also had to have a health and safety officer and we also have team members that were kind of helping each other along and basically just doing the task uh, myself and Reese, who was my other partner in this activity, uh, we were filling in risk assessments and we were also filming this activity. Uh, and we were basically just watching out for any kind of way they weren't doing it right or if they were doing it right, we were motivating them and sh shouting at them and calling them saying, you're doing well, you know, because they'd never done kind of activities like this before. So we were kind of propelling them and showing them what kind of things we did when we used to do these activities. Um, the group chose the leader, uh, obviously because we didn't know them, we said, who do you think is going to be the best leader? 
who just thinks of us health and safety manager and who just wants to be a team member uh, and we got a quite anonymous vote high anonymous vote to uh, who the team leader wanted to be and who they thought would be a good team leader and uh, we found it was a very good choice because they were he was very very open to listening to us and very open to any suggestions we'd had uh, previously to doing this task before uh, and any kind of hints and tricks we gave him uh, we he took on board uh, motivation was quite low at the beginning of this activity obviously because they didn't know us we didn't know them and it was kind of very very mismatch I think because they all obviously knew each other and because they were quite young it was the maybe the morning maybe it was because they were tired because they didn't want to their motivation to do this activity for us was quite low however when we got to know them we introduced ourselves we kind of laughed a bit with them they kind of relaxed uh, and they were actually putting quite a lot of motivation into this activity uh, also while they were relaxing they actually made it a lot easier for us to actually trust them with all the risks and hazards because obviously we need them to listen we need them to be you know switched on to make sure they could hear and see everything that was going on around them and we really needed them to you know be stuck together and that to be paying attention to us so we could actually help them along with their thing uh, so yeah this is my uh, overall overall review of my risk assessments for this um, assessment and I